What is up guys, Amalgamaniac here, and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. So, I actually wasn't planning on recording tonight, but I saw a shiny dino that I could not pass up. It's a shiny, eerie, rhiny Ognatha. Oh, for the plans for today, tame some luck spreads. <laughs> Kill the eerie Rhiny Ognatha so we can revive it. And uh, let's get some more artifacts. Just FYI, I was given this Giga. I do plan on getting one legit. Mainly if it's just an eerie Giga. They're, they're, let's be honest, the eeries are the only ones I'm curious about at this point. I'm going to use this Giga for two things. One, this Giga is going to help me take out the Rhiny Ognatha. And two, there's a specific achievement tied to writing a Giga. Yeah, Giga Writer, you wrote on the back of a Giga, Giga Notosaurus. Now, I want to say the Swamp Cave would be the closest. Oh, is that it? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I am nervous. Now, I might overestimate how easy or hard this is going to be, so I'm interested to see what the outcome is. Hello, Radio Nepha. And who got the implant? All right, we officially have the imprint. The uh, imprint? The implant for an Azure Eerie Rhiny Ignatha. And we also have a uh, pheromone, and just in case we want to do it legit. <laughs> I probably won't, but we'll see. Good work, team. <laughs> and also, y'all probably noticed, I now have an Eerie Otter again. It's not a high level. I don't remember if I ever showed y'all uh, butters. It was my uh, Eerie Otter that I previously had on my shoulder. It was a very low level, and I had the implant already, and I just went ahead and revived it. So, <laughs> this is Butters 2.0, basically. All right. All right. Is it Azure? Is that what it was called? All right, now we're going to go track down some Lux Spread. We're going to tame a few of them. And basically, Lux Spread are... <laughs> Tiny, aggressive, flying jellyfish. That's literally all you need to know. And you can tame them with Lux Spread Toxin, which they basically either poop or you can harvest it off of them. And then whenever you tame one, they can produce biotoxin, more Lux Spread Toxin, and angler gel on Wander. It's a good utility dino. And if you get a pack of them, my goodness, are they strong. And just for the heck of it, I'm probably going to take them on a cave run eventually. If I get enough of them, I don't remember. There were some. Oh, well, hello. Y'all are exactly where I left y'all earlier. As long as I don't get the uh, third person glitch, this should be working fine. So we're going to be hopeful that I can do this on the first try with three of them. All right. 140. Oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah, Rim was right. Uh, you need a lot of toxin to tame these. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I wasn't ready for this yet. And I would rather it not destroy all my armor. Oh yeah, I definitely do not have enough. I need 14 and I have 9. Alright, so let me take some of you out. Okay, now I should have enough. Hello. Ah. Alright. Alright. This is very scary. Uh-oh. My finger was itchy. Get away from me. Wait, are they male female? Oh, they are male female. Oh, jeez. All right, stay back. Stay back. Now, if you have a shield, like a very strong shield, this will also work with the passive taming. Just stay away from them. <laughs> okay, now, you take 15. So I'm probably gonna have to kill another one to get enough to tame you. Oh, jeez. Uh oh, get away, get away, get away. Uh, stop. Oh boy. Okay, you need eight more. Ah, no. Okay. Oh, Get away! Ah! Oh no, I got pinned in. I'm pinned. 
And just for the record, they can kill stuff in the wild. They just have, <laughs> they have issues with some stuff. And to be fair, you know, I did alter the AI of the jellyfish a little bit since, you know, jellyfish don't naturally go after stuff. So, now how much do you need? You need 14. Now I might be able to go and throw this out, let it produce some uh, lux spread toxin. You can put them on wander, by the way, just like the slags. So they'll be able to produce stuff. Oh yeah, there's the lux spread in its poop form that you can also pick up. Okay, and he's 13, I have seven. So yeah, there's basically a few different ways you can do it. Like lay the aggro on you and then wait for it to go away to aggro on something else and then you can feed it or just use a shield and let it feed it or just do what I'm doing <laughs> and keep backing up. Hopefully it doesn't kill you. And I swear they can attack stuff. I've seen them do it in the wild and, and kill stuff. All right, you need eight, and I've got five. They just need three more. Turd. I'm in the middle of something here. Time's up. <laughs> Time's up. All right. Okay. I got too close. Get away. All right, you need uh, five. I've got six. We got this. We'll have a mating prayer of luck spread. Yes, they can mate, by the way. I will have an army. I am interested to see how they would do in an artifact cave. I don't think I've ever tested that. I don't know if I even did for Ark Survival Evolved. There we go. It was announced during the Extra Life stream that uh, Scorched Earth is not coming out until March. Uh, my birthday month, by the way. We will be on the island for a good while. Although I probably will post some Schwartelfime videos before long. I don't know if it's going to be on a server or if it's going to be in single player. I'm interested to, to play through that map a little bit more as it's being developed for ASA because servers are still not in the uh, most stable of conditions. Let's just say that. So let me try this. If I throw you against the wall. Okay, you will stay there. Cool. <laughs> I throw you also against the wall. <laughs> wall look spreads. Epic. All right, so that's the new one. That's the one I already had. Now I should probably be careful, because once I put these on wonder, they'll also start breeding. Oh, move to water. Good. I forgot I had that as an, uh, a feature. So yeah, Lux Pred can only mate while they're in the water. So if you have a lot of Lux Pred, and they're just floating around your base like this, don't worry. You can have them on wander, and they won't start mass producing like crazy. And plus, Lux Pred eat Lux Pred Toxin. And in their inventories, they produce Lux Pred Toxin. So they will never starve, fingers crossed, knock on wood, uh, because they will usually make their own food. The more you know. <laughs> Look at this beauty. Rhinos are so cool. They just got too many buttons. <laughs> All right, so that's a random quits. And oh, an eerie Quetzal. I was not expecting that. Uh, I don't remember how to change modes. Oh, well, hello. It did not like that. Hello. All right, that might have been all the reels in my head. Yeah. Oh, and by the way. Lux bread is a uh, very delicious to dinos. So if you keep it in their inventory and they start eating it, uh, they'll start getting torpor. So I'd rather not get randomly knocked out. Thank you very much. The crap is going on with that crap. <laughs> well, okay then. How can Rhino be stunned out of the sky by Lux bread? I would rather not find out, but I'm trying to keep... Ooh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Jeez. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, so what cave is next on our agenda? Okay, so the Northeast Cave and the Lava Cave are what we did in the last episode. So let's do... Actually, let's do the two water caves today. 
So I'm going to use my Dinosuchus for this one. Now I think it's down here, which of course you can't see a flipping thing. And I'm aware I can turn the, uh, the fog off. But is this not how they wanted the game played? Oh lord, there's more luck spread. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and teleport to the cave entrance. How about that? So, uh, That would be this one, I think. I'm fairly sure I was going the wrong way. Let's attempt that one more time. It should be this way. No. It's this way. That's where I got turned around last time. Okay, maybe taking Dinosuchus was not the smartest idea. Because they are dumber than a sack of bricks. And they do not listen, apparently. Because uh, I said for the third time now, follow on the highest distance. Because if I cannot move, then we are screwed. So, now y'all please, don't sabotage my cave run. Alright. Oh lord. Okay. Yeah, y'all just be aggressive. Be aggressive. This may or may not turn horribly. Yeah, it's already turning horribly. You know, it probably wouldn't if the other dinosaurs hadn't abandoned us. You idiot. 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 This way. Thank you. You know, I kind of want to just leave it in here. Because it kind of deserves to die at this point. Are you going to follow now? Thank you. Aggressive. Thank you. Oh, we got this. Or at least I have this. I don't really care about the other one. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Wow. Alright. I was not expecting that. I should have. Alright, what's your health? You're doing well. You're just... You know, you have the majority of your health. Cause you let your sister do all the fighting and she got killed. So, yeah. Good talk. Are those looks spread? Oh, yay. I swear if a look spread dismounts me, I'm done. Please don't let a love spread get in here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm done. I'm done. Get me on. Oh. That was luck. Alright, get me out of here. Ah! What's my armor? Okay, I almost didn't make it. I've got one more scuba. Oh jeez. Oh no. No. Oh boy. I did not realize Dinosuchus could not swim backwards. So I have a feeling they will dismount me again. Oh no. Come on. Ah! The barrage of luck spread. Help me! <laughs> Help me! I 
I create I unleashed a monster upon the ark. Uh oh. One tank down, one to go. Don't move. Come on. Now what are you doing? Being an imbecile, that's what you're doing. BRB. We'll get my eerie berry team real quick. Oh, and while I'm here, I can go ahead and repair my scuba stuff. <laughs> I don't exactly remember where to go. Oh, wait, this is the one that's down there, isn't it? Attack that manta. It would be nice if y'all would all attack that manta. I could have swore this one was like straight down or something. Wasn't there one where you had to go down into a cave? I'm sorry, wild card, but your game, you literally can't see Jack, so I'm gonna have to turn off the fog. Okay, well, I turned off volumetric fog, volumetric cloud. You can literally see nothing. So I didn't realize I was gonna have a failed cave attempt because of wild card, but apparently uh, that's what's happening now because this is literally unplayable at the current moment I might just have to relog because I literally Can't see anything and it might just be a camera issue. So y'all remember we telling you that looks pretty toxin was very delicious But to not leave it in inventories because it'll make you go to sleep That is exactly what is happening at the current moment with that baryonyx what just bit me, Piranha? Are you also asleep? Yeah. Alright, good talk. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's a good thing I was wanting to relog. Because this is also unplayable. So, I will see y'all in just a second. Alright, we are officially back. I assume my teleport point is still saved. Let's go back there real quick. <clears throat> and they are still asleep, of course. Oh, it was down here. Is that a cave? No. But that is the cave. So I don't know if sharks can fit in there, but I managed to boss them up real quick because they're supposed to be in the water. So hopefully their AI is at least a little smarter than the, the berry and the Dinosuchus. You did not just mess yourself already. <laughs> I would have said, we'll see how your AI does. And then immediately gets meshed. Attack. Attack. I said attack. There you go. What else we got? I assume I'm still recording, by the way. If not, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was wondering where all the dinos were. Let me get my gigabyte ready. in here currently, which is a very good thing. How's Megalodon doing? Oh, never mind. Okay, it's just piranhas and Eurythroids and Trillobites apparently. Level 300 electric eel. Eerie electric eel. Alright. Artifact of the Cunning. Now can we find that bag? Where's the bag of that Eerie Megalodon? Oh, is that it? There we go. 
All right, recovered our implant. So yeah, I think that is where going to be where I call it an episode. So yeah, we got a lot accomplished. We officially have an eerie Rhiny Ognatha. We tamed some luck spreads. Get out of my way, fool. And we got an artifact of the cunning. So in the next episode, uh, we'll try the other water cave, and then maybe we can squeeze another artifact run in there as well. So that's it, guys. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and share. Leave your comments down below, and I will see you on the flip side. Hey.